We are playing House Flipper today. Um, it's going to be interesting. This is the same company that um, made the previous game that we were playing, uh, Train Station Renovations. So let's... Uh, Flamethrowers? You are you already have my heart at this point. Alright, first thing we need to do is probably turn this music off because we've had problems with copyright in the past with these games, so we'll just turn that off real quick and put on some of our own music. There we go. All right. Let's turn that down just a little bit. Okay. Let's start a new game. There must be a decent kitchen in the house. Oh boy. Welcome to House Flipper. The game, this game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate, and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content with this shack that you can call your office and a laptop that is your command center. Okay. New jobs have appeared in your inbox. Completing jobs unlocks new garden tools. Okay, yeah, we do have the HGTV uh, DLC as well. Anything else gonna pop up? What a mess! I need to clean this up. Yikes. Oh, look, we don't have to carry it to a, a, a dumpster this time. It's time to check emails on the laptop. Oh, look, there's our laptop. The laptop will allow you to find jobs, buy houses, and switch between them. You cannot afford to buy a house yet, but it looks like you already have your first email. Okay, cool. Sarah Lewis, ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. What kind of drama do you have to have in your life for your ex-boyfriend to steal your radiator out of your house? Oh yeah? Well, you're gonna be cold tonight. Your cold heart. Hello, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos posted on Face Spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, and stole the radiator. It's possible that other things are missing too. Please clean up the house and replace the missing appliances. I would ask you to not inform the police about this whole matter. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Regards, Sarah Lewis. Well, Sarah, your heart might be cold now that you have no radiator in your house, but we will take care of this for you. Let me turn that down just a little bit more. It's a little loud in my headset. There we go. Oh, so this must be Sarah Lewis's house. Um, okay. Oh, Sarah, how do you live like this? Oh, no, no, no. I can't imagine why he took your radiator. Let's clean this mess up. Maybe she didn't want us to clean this mess up. Maybe she just enjoys living like this. And we're gonna clean her kitchen table with a broom. Look at this mess. Have you ever cleaned your house, Sarah Lewis? Gee, Sarah Lewis. Look at this mess. Kind of a pigsty. What happened here? I. Mm, I don't think a broom's gonna fix that. We'll try it. I'm surprised. Clean this mess up here, this mess up here. Clean the welcome mat. Not feeling very welcome in your house, Sarah Lewis. Who goes away on a business trip too and just allows people to come into their house and 
do stuff. That's a little weird to me. No, we'll put it up here. Can we not put it up there? Apparently it can't go above eye level. There we go. Turn this chair upright. Can we rotate? Shift. Oh, shift and rotate. Okay, I gotcha. Put this table back in order here. Oh, geez, look at this mess. that back put that back you can't steal her knife block we'll move it up here out of the way I'll just do a little cleaning here on the counter with her broom after we've already cleaned the floor with it cleaned it in the sink and then spread that over here to the countertop some more she'll never know I mean she was living in a pigsty anyway what is this who cooks and splatters stuff all over the wall and doesn't clean up after themselves, Sarah Lewis? Look, your house is already ten times better than when I got here. Oh my, let's see. Uh, let's clean this up. Turn on the tablet to choose what you want to spend the new skill point on. I don't know how to turn on the tablet. Oh, the tablet is down at the bottom tab. So we can go to the store. Hmm, do we need the store? Perks? Ah, here it is. Penetrating vision, see some dirt on the mini-map, 25% um, faster cleaning, a good mop. Hmm, let's do this. It'll help us see dirt on the map and we won't have to hunt all over the house for it. All right, continue cleaning this mess. Scrub the toilet a little bit. How, how's your bathtub doing? Is it all right in here? Your bathtub is the cleanest place in the house. I don't even have a shower curtain. Just gonna leave that window open. I don't know why there's a, why is there a table in here? Oh, maybe because there's no room to put it anywhere else. I'm gonna put it there. I think the door will still close. Yep. You can move her light fixtures around. And the mirror. All right. Your bathroom is clean. Oh, what happened here? Look at this mess. How do you sleep here? Well, we've already cleaned the bathroom with this broom, so we might as well clean our bed too with it, right? <laughs> well, not much else to do in here. So we need to buy a radiator, which looks like it goes here based on the map up there in the right hand corner. So let's switch to our hands. Okay. Let's buy a radiator. Radiator. Buy. Guess you just put it anywhere you want.
The job is 100% complete. I didn't pay attention to the job when I started. I wonder if I was only supposed to do that and we actually cleaned her house. We live here now. Ooh. I want to push buttons on the alarm. You know, just because I'm not sure. We'll put the kettle in the kitchen or in the in the toilet. There we go. Good luck finding that, Sarah Lewis. <sighs> oh yeah, we left her window open too. We'll leave that window open as well. And the door, why not? All right, so everything's done. You've completed 100% of the job for $785. We are done, next job. Look at the progress we made here. <clears throat> There's our kettle in the toilet. great children should have toys in their room um do we have any more emails we do look word is already spreading cleaning the garage radiators we just did some radiators a bit of gravel and a couple of bushes caroline smith Hello, we need to clean the garage. Please throw away all the boxes, trash, and old tires. Please don't forget to clean the window, too. It's better not to touch the tools, though. My husband doesn't like it when someone moves them, and he can't find them afterward. Regards, Caroline Smith. Well, you know what's going to happen there. If we can pick up the tools, we're going to move every one of them. Some houses hold a secret. Oh, this is a nice house. Look at this. Look at this place. Look how nice it is. You can sit out here and yell at your neighbors. We'll go in the back door. Look at this place. Not sure what this room is. I guess like a little reading nook. Oh yeah, uh, she wanted us to clean the garage and we're messing around in the house bathroom she won't mind if we move a few things around can I not put this anywhere really <laughs> okay we'll put it back if we can. Apparently I can't put it back. What do I do? Just drop it? Can I, can I remove her bathtub? We'll put that down there. Let's take this random stuff and hide it. Alright, where's the garage? I feel like it's not this way. We'll make her bed for her. Oh, could you imagine if I could rearrange the books? Let's take those over there like we were going through them. I think I'll put that under the bed. <laughs> put it under the bed. <laughs> no. Alright, whatever. It's in door number three. How many, how many doors does this house have? Ah, here we go. We're in the garage now. Let's put this over here. What if we get in trouble for not following what people ask? shift I 
many old tires do you need? I guess that was supposed to be there. This is all dirty. Let's wipe some toilet water on that. Remember we cleaned with this broom earlier in the bathroom. Clean the dirt and clean the window. Uh, okay. Clean the window. Oh, it's a squeegee. I feel like it would be a little faster if you had some glass cleaner. is very sensitive. <laughs> what is going on here? Look, the table's clean now because we put all the tools outside. Her husband will be so happy that we cleaned up. We got a new skill point. It's called sweeping. Oops. What did you do to skid all the way into the garage? spot of dirt still over here we've done the job I feel like this maybe if we put it in the tire track so that when the car comes into the garage being in the garage. Well, 
that's the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> Where's Caroline's room? Ah, here it is. We'll put it in the bedroom. She didn't say not to. If you don't want me to do something, you have to be very, very <laughs> thorough with telling me where to put stuff. All right, we're gonna put this one in the boys' room. In the kids' room. Just put it right there. They're gonna think they got a brand new bike. What else can we get rid of in here? This clamp. This is some uh, bedroom fun right here. Get that clamp going. <laughs> She's gonna get yelled at. My husband is not going to be happy. I'm gonna put these in here. So the kid gets blamed for taking the tools. Put that in there too. Oh, there's plenty of room to place that item there. Put that right there. I really want to move this shelf. I have a better place for it. That is a better place for that. Her husband is going to be so angry at her. Can I put the tire up on the counter? Hey, she wanted the garage cleaned. We're doing it. Let's see if we can jam this tire under the cabinet. Come on! I know you'll fit. There we go. Wedged it. Oh, look at that magic. I put the tire through the shelving unit. Good luck getting that off of there. I'm like the best house flipper there is. I mean, look how clean this garage is getting. So I'm gonna stick this in the corner. I think it went outside. It's invisible. Maybe put it under the rug? Maybe it has to go on a shelf. I think that's a glitch. Whatever. It's fine. Whoop. I've lost my way. Where am I going? This way. Oh, they disappear once you get them past the garage. That's fine. It's almost like they don't want you to move them there. We'll give them a little welcome home gift. Surprise! Surprise! 
store stuff in here. This garage is almost cleaned up. Can I open the door? You can open the garage door. I think there's a car out here. <laughs> Look at all the tools. I just chucked them out the window. It's fine. <laughs> all right, where else do we need some shelving units in the house? People are always complaining about not having enough storage space in their house. I don't know what else you want. I mean. <laughs> I don't know about this table. Where can we put a table? What room uses a table in the house? I just don't know. I feel like this kid's room could use a table. Like right there. Why is this plant in here? No. Plants do not go in bedrooms. They go in the bathroom. Um, what else? This is gonna be our trademark signature here. The kettle in the bathroom. So we've left like shampoo bottles <laughs> all over the house. We left the back door open. We'll leave a window or two open to, to air the place out. Tires on the kitchen counter. Just random cabinets open. But she hired us to clean this garage. I don't know that you could have made it any cleaner if you tried. And put that right under the tire. Can I move this? I help. I fix. I fix. Can you move their car? can't. I literally can't. Look at this. All right. We're just going to close that. They're going to come they're going to come home and think that someone stole their car and a patio paver. Let me put that over there. I really am doing you a favor here. I wonder how much trouble we're going to get in for doing this. Like, is nobody going to buy our services now? Look, you've got a little patio over here. It's fine. I'll put this one all the way out back, so they have to bring it all the way back. <laughs> I'll put it right here. You know, a nice grilling area. Get rid of some of her flowers.
Okay, well, I think we're pretty much done here. We cleaned the garage. 100% of the job is done. Look at that. We're gonna photograph it. This is what it looks like before and then after. Don't ask me how we got that car in there. It's not important. We took it apart and reassembled it before and after. Doesn't that look much better? Look, look at that. That was amazing. Hey guys, I've always got more content for you to watch. Just check out my latest video over there on the left or what YouTube thinks you should watch next. Don't forget, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button and hit like to let me know that you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.